three. That thing won't budge. Maybe if we got somebody else. I don't know. Hey guys, what are you up to? I'm trying to get this manhole cover off. My dog Brutus chased his wife's little dog down into the storm train. Yeah, poor old Fluffy's down there. My wife's gonna kill me if I don't get her out. Well, how y'all going about it? We're just trying to lift it. You want to come help? Like, we can, have you guys ever heard about a crowbar? What makes You're you think a crowbar can help? You know, to use leverage. leverage. What's leverage? Come on, guys. Even a first grader knows what a leverage is. A lever is one of six simple machines. They make work easy by magnifying effort. For example, on the seesaw, when me and my dad are on the same distance from the middle, I cannot lift my dad, but if I'm farther back, I can lift him. We're balanced. Thanks, Jacob. As I was saying, the mechanical advantage that a lift lever provides is called leverage. Leverage can be applied in many ways and it can work for you even when you don't realize. Take my friend Sam for example. He, his son had the idea of getting a lemonade stand. We're going to Beach It to the Park. We're going to Beach It to the Park. I bet if we have bites, we can beat them. Hey Dad, can you give us some money so we can buy some bikes? You want money to buy bikes? Boys, what have I told you about getting new bikes? If you want to go buy a new bike, you're going to have to save up your allowance and go buy them. Dad, we have to get a small allowance so we can't, but it will take us a long time to give, um, save up for money for bikes. Hey Dad, I have an idea. Remember the last week with the baseball game when everybody was drinking the um, spits of lemonade the lady was selling? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. We can sell lemonade to get money. Hey, that's a great idea, guys. But to sell lemonade, you're going to have to buy the supplies. Do you guys have the money to buy all the supplies you need? No, sir. But can you lo loan us some money so we can, get, um, get, so we can buy some um, st um, supplies to get started? Sure. I'll tell you what. I'll loan you $20 so that you can buy the supplies, but when you're done with your sale, you're going to pay me back $25, $5 in interest. What's interest? That's not fair. That is fair. Interest is the amount you have to pay when you borrow money. It's when they loan you money, you have to pay what's called interest. And it is fair. If you were to go to the bank, they would charge you interest. All right. So here, here's $20. Good luck on the sales. Thank you. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day I'm every day I'm every day I'm hustling, hustling real hard, hustling, hustling real hard. Hustling real hard, hustle, hustle real hard. Hustling, hustling, hustle, hustle, hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm, every day I'm, every day I'm. Hold up. The approach the boys used is a simple example of what the professionals in the finance business refer to as financial leverage. Financial leverage refers to the use of debt to supplement an investment. The boys utilized the debt from their dad to invest in his lemonade stand, and in turn that made them. A sizable profit enabled them to pay back the debt, the cost of borrowing the money, and also buy them some pretty cool toys. Hey guys, nice Hello. bicycles. Did y'all get that from the lemonade stand money you yes, earned? Yes. Wow, you must have did all right at that lemonade stand. Hey, is that my $25? Yes. Thanks, bud. Hey, what's that other cash for? It's the extra money we got from the lemonade stand. Yeah. Extra money? Well, you guys did all right. I should have charged you more interest. Instead of just five dollars. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, bud. What you got there? We need to build a birdhouse for Cub Scouts, but I can't find the directions. Can you help me out? 
Yeah, let's go get the, the tools out of the garage and see what we can do, okay? Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah. You've got some wood, yeah. some screws and some nails. Looks like we're going to need this drill. Yeah. We're going to need this hammer. Go ahead and figure it out. You ready? Yeah. Like Ethan, we often find ourselves in situations where we lack the know-how or experience to accomplish something on our own. A great example of engineering leverage is a joint venture. An architectural company and a general contractor can team up to provide a client with a complete project package from design to construction. Collaboration allows them to provide a product with fewer changes and conflicts. The owner likes this because it usually costs less and can be done faster. Here you go guys, I got this crowbar. I think that can give you the leverage you're looking for. A crowbar, huh? Okay, think the crowbar will work, huh? We'll see. Oh, it's working. Got it. Oh. Fluffy, are you in there? Fluffy, got it. Fluffy. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, my poor Fluffy. Oh, my wife's not gonna be mad at me anymore. So as shown, leverage is a principle that can work in many ways, whether it's in helping with mechanical advantage, as explained earlier by Jacob, or in helping with financial leverage, as Sam's kids showed us by obtaining a loan to help them raise money to buy some bikes and other things, or in helping with engineering leverage, as Ethan showed us by using his dad's knowledge to help him build the birdhouse. All this shows just how versatile leverage can be and how it can be used in many everyday life situations. Well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you all learned something. Thanks and gig em. Terry, we're recording. <laughs>